What's going on, you legends? Another episode of 4x4 Camping and Adventures. All right. I um, want to go through a few things in this episode. First off, just got back from the trip. Um, trip was awesome. Went to Monkey Mire for a week. Um, I'll chuck some photos up now, but absolutely killer. Killer week. Honestly, couldn't ask for better weather. The, um, the wind was pretty much like 15 k's all week, southwesterlies. Water was just glass. I mean, you can see in the videos and the photos and that kind of stuff now, but it was literally just glass down there absolutely perfect weather and then uh friday come along every man and his dog from perth come up and um it got really really busy but um the big thing was now or there's probably a, a time of this film in this episode there's a huge cyclone that's coming over the uh coast so hopefully everyone up there is um nice and safe out of the uh the danger zones and um yeah it doesn't cause too much damage but there's two of them apparently coming down so it's gonna be interesting to see how that goes um but a fair bit to go on this episode but first things first i wanted to go through my fuel consumption because i said i was going to go through it again with a bit more detail and a bit more information my other one was a little bit sort of blase because i went off the trip computer but with this one i've taken photos of the trip computer as well as the um receipt to show obviously show how much fuel i put into the car and i can give you an accurate reading so i'll put on the uh the sheet here the numbers i need and i'll work out now how much fuel i used so it was 95.69, divide that by 589, and then times that by 100. Okay, interesting. So the fuel on the way up, now you gotta take away 80 kilos of weight because we didn't have the water tank full because we filled it up when we got there. Um, so essentially a full trailer load, food, everything in the car, the car was full, um, Full passengers, like we'll, we'll load it up, so um, pretty much as probably heavy as it's going to get. And we used 16.2 litres of uh, fuel per 100 for those 589 Ks. So um, the fuel economy was fantastic, um, considering the load we had. We were pretty, we were pretty loaded up. The fridge was full. We had beers on board. I had extra beers. Um, yeah, everything was pretty much chockers. So. Definitely a um, pretty good result, you know, 16.2 litres or 16.3 if you want to round it up. But that's a pretty solid result for a car that's, I think now, I haven't weighed it, but I'm pretty sure it's now about 3.3 tonne fully loaded um, or around that area. And the trailer will probably be about 1.3 tonne roughly. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty good result. So just over sort of four and a half-ish tonnes. Not a bad result at all, I think. Um, yeah, anyway, that's the uh, fuel consumption, 16.2 litres. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is uh, bush rats. You can see the sticker there and Outback Swagging. I met those guys today. Uh, we're doing a big clean up 24th and 25th of April in Wellington Dam. Everyone is invited, so um, we've got a fair few things going on. We've got a skip bin now, um, so we can dump all the rubbish in there. And obviously, it's a massive camp up. Um, Alex from Intense Off Road is going to come. We've got Matt from West Australian Off Road. Um, Taylor, who used to hang out or do videos with um, Alex a long time ago. Um, he's going to come down as well. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a pretty cool event. There's going to be a lot of people there and it's a very, very relaxed event. We're uh, pretty much going to have a camp up and then pretty much clean up the next day. Um, do a dawn service first thing in the morning. So it should be pretty cool. I'm going to film the whole thing as well as run the whole thing. So I'm going to be off my chops the whole time. But, um, but yeah, it should be a bloody good event. So as I said, 24th, 25th of April, um, the cleanup is going to happen. So get down to Willie Dam. More details as they come out. But uh, there is a Facebook event I will tag into the description. And uh, you guys can go check that out. Um, and that's pretty much about it for this episode, guys. As I just said, I want to go through the fuel and just give you a bit of an update on what's happening with bush rats um, in the cleanup. So, yeah, just a nice quick one. But the car went absolutely superb. Not a drama at all. Yeah, didn't miss a beat. Um, the 12 volt battery setup, absolutely awesome. Um, the iTech World battery lasted the whole time. Um, I had to turn the car on once to uh, recharge it up, but other than that, the uh, the whole system worked absolutely flawlessly. So, Riley from Audio Auto Electrics did a good job, and uh, the drawers, absolutely awesome. Making coffees on this table every morning with my uh, jet boil, uh, which is a recent purchase I got from Anaconda, but um, yeah, yeah. Awesome way of uh, doing coffees and that kind of thing because it boils up things super quick and the pantry come in so handy um, just for storing cups and that kind of stuff. When we're out on the road, um, yeah, that pantry come in real handy. So I'm absolutely stoked how the drawer system worked. And I was actually thinking I would come back with new ideas and how to do 
a rear drawer system, but I think now it's just more organization. So I'm going to have a chat to Jimmy from Grab Me Gear, do some bags and uh, get it all set up. So pretty much I can put a swag on the roof and go. I, mean, I can do that now, but pretty much with the uh, the rear drawers, I've got to change a few things to um, make it work absolutely perfect. But um, just with like setting up the drawers, like organization, that kind of stuff. But um, but yeah, no, it was an awesome trip. So plenty of ideas came out of it. There's another trip, as I said, 24th, 25th of April. We're going to do a big clean up and uh, it'll be awesome to see you guys out there. So I might leave it there. Another episode of 4x4 Camping and Adventures. Uh, if I don't see it in the tracks and trails, I'll see you in the next video. If I don't see it in the next video, I shall see you later. And uh, may even see you at the uh, clean up the bush in Wellington Dam. So see you there. Bye.